Well, this next story is pushing the boundaries of remote work and outsourcing, and it's finally arrived at restaurants here in Queens. All right, that's where, as Fox 5's Arthur Chen shows us, the hostess greeting you may actually be thousands of miles away. On the busy corner of Crescent Street and 41st Avenue in Long Island City sits a cluster of restaurants, including most notably San San Ramen. In the news, not for its food, but for an interesting personnel decision. Uh, hey, are you going to go inside? Uh -huh. When you walk into this restaurant, instead of being greeted by a hostess in person, you're greeted by a hostess only live via Zoom. Said to be in the Philippines, the age of outsourcing continues. I think it's a little weird. When I go to a restaurant, I prefer like a human servant. And who says you can't be in two places at one time? We notice the same remote, polite hostess on the screen at the chicken place next door, sometimes saying hello to people walking by. I assume it's by the sound. She can sense people walking by and she will say hello. And then local resident Eric pointed out to us Yasso Kitchen around the corner and down Crescent is also using the same technology. There is no one behind the counter there at all. Just you and the Zoom. I prefer real people to 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 face to face to me to to make my order. As of January 1st, minimum wage in New York City was raised to $16 an hour. And looking at this, some point out that in the Philippines, minimum wage hovers below $4 an hour. While we do not know if the Zoom employees work for an agency or exactly what they're being paid, some say restaurants must be using this new system to save money. Definitely think in New York it's like more like costly for live here. So so she's working remote. Fox 5 has reached out to the restaurant and is waiting to hear back. In the meantime, perhaps there's comfort that the kitchen is still manned by humans, at least for now. In Long Island City, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.